Welcome to Wisdom Words, where we will give you words of wisdom from the Word, because wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all your getting, get understanding. Now, each and every day, I'll be doing something I've done off and on for years myself, and that's to read a chapter of Proverbs that corresponds to the day of the month by number. As I do so, I encourage you to follow along in your own Bible. And after, the, and after reading the chapter, I'll follow that with a short meditation on one verse or a couple of verses from that chapter. And I'm hoping that this will help you develop your own daily program using the book of Proverbs, because that's where wisdom resides. I want to not only recommend that you read a chapter of Proverbs every day, but also to spend some time meditating on a verse or a short passage from that chapter. As you do that, you're going to be amazed at how the Holy Spirit is illuminating that passage and stamping it into your understanding. Now, let me say that today, I'm doing this a little bit late, please forgive me, but I am excited about today's wisdom words. Praise God. If you haven't done so already, please prepare yourself by opening to Proverbs chapter 8. If you need to, go ahead and pause the recording and grab your Bible, and then uh, we will read. But just before doing that, let me pray. Praise God. Let's pray together. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Christ. Father, to illuminate to our understanding what you've done for us in Christ Jesus. We thank you that Christ Jesus has made unto us wisdom from God, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption that we might glory in the Lord. We just want to give you praise today. We ask, Lord God, that you will show us something, Father, from the words of Proverbs chapter 8 that we've never seen before. And we just thank you that it'll be a practical word. We just want to give you thanks for it in advance. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. If you agree with that, say amen. Hallelujah. Let's begin here in chapter 8. Now, again, I'm reading from the King James Bible, but I'm not reading it King James. Praise God. I'm updating some of the language as I go. And also, I will periodically call out verse numbers just to make sure we're on track, that we're reading together. Okay, here we go. First verse of Proverbs chapter 8. Doesn't wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? She stands in the top of the high places, by the way in the places of the paths. She cries at the gates at the entry of the city, at the coming in at the doors. Unto you, O man, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O you simple, understand wisdom, and you fools be of an understanding heart. Heart, praise God. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be of right things. For my mouth speaks truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. Verse 8. All, my, all the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing froward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understands, and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. Verse 11, for wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out the knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine in sound wisdom. I have understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, 
princes rule, and nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Verse 18, riches and honor are with me. Yes, durable riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold. Yes, than fine gold. In my revenue, than choice silver. I lead in the way of righteousness, in the midst of the paths of judgment, that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance, and I will fill their treasures. Verse 22, the Lord possessed me in the beginning of his way, before his works of old. I was set up from everlasting and from the beginning or ever the earth was. When there were, were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water. Verse 25. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills was I brought forth. While as yet he had not made the earth, nor the fields, nor the highest part of the dust of the world. When he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he set a compass of upon the face of the earth. When he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, when he gave to the sea his decree that the waters should not pass his commandment, when he appointed the foundations of the earth. Verse 30, then I was by him as one brought up with him, and I was daily his delight rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the habitable part of his earth. And my delights were with the sons of men. Now, therefore, hearken unto me, O you children, for blessed are they that keep my ways. Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not. Verse 34, blessed is the man that hears me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. For whoso finds me finds life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. But he that sins against me wrongs his own soul. All they, they that hate me love death. Praise God. Praise God forevermore for his word. You know, it seems like this chapter is all about wisdom talking about its role, not only in creation, but in the everyday affairs of mankind today. So praise God. For today's meditation, there were so many verses I could have chosen. And as time goes on, I'm sure I will discuss a number of these. But the one I chose for today is one I've thought about quite a bit over a long period of time, and that is verse 12. Now, some things that contribute to a successful life are thoughtfulness, creativity, objectivity, ideas, and concepts. If one were to acquire a lot of financial wealth and yet not be a thoughtful person, they still would not be happy. Verse 12 says, I wisdom. You see, once again, wisdom is personified. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out the knowledge of witty inventions. Now, you just can't read a passage like that without stopping to look up a couple of the words used. At least I can't. Prudence is not a word we use often today, at least not in the same way. We think of prude or prudence as being shy or reserved, but the word prudence in the King James Bible is from a Hebrew word meaning trickery, discretion, guile, or subtlety. So wisdom lives with trickery, discretion, guile, or subtlety. Hmm. Now, of course, we're using these words in a positive sense. So basically, we're talking about a state of mind that is always thinking, creating, problem solving. But let's read on. Not only does wisdom live with a creative mindset, but it finds out or it searches out the knowledge of witty inventions. 
Now, what is that talking about? All this thoughtfulness and subtlety that lives with wisdom will cause you to find things out and solve problems. I love the phrase witty inventions. In the Hebrew, witty inventions means plans, devices, intents, machinations. Praise God. Witty inventions, by the way, is all one word in the Hebrew. It means a creative idea when you need it. Don't you just love those word studies? Praise God, I sure do. What we're talking about is following a problem all the way through to a solution, a conclusion of the matter. In other words, the wisdom of God will cause you, as it were, to be the smartest man in the room, as we say, because you have the solution to the problem at hand. The wisdom of God is very practical. It's not just heady or high-minded or scholarly. It's certainly not prideful. It helps you in the nitty-gritty of life. In whatever situation you face, at school, on the job, with your family, whatever it is, God's wisdom will deliver the answer that you need when you need it. If you need to know where to invest money, if you're wanting to know how to solve a health problem, if you need to understand what chemical properties are necessary in order to create a certain reaction, or you need some guidance regarding an exercise program or a relationship issue, well, it doesn't matter what we're talking about. Wisdom dwells with discretion, guile, subtlety, and it finds out the knowledge necessary to give you the devices, the plans, the intents, the cogitations, the machinations necessary in order to give you what you need intellectually and emotionally when you need it. And that's today's wisdom words. I hope you find this to be a blessing to you. I want to remind you again today that if you go to our website, you can leave a prayer request. Our website is ambassadorministries.org. That's ambassadorministries.org. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And may the Lord bless you richly in every way.